Alrighty, he is back. My girlfriend just got back from work, so I was uh, saying hello to her. Okay, we're generating wood, albeit quite slowly. These don't seem to work especially fast, so maybe we'll continue adding more and more. And also, what I can do, because this feels really, really dumb right now, is uh, move these to the same location instead of having instead of having it there. And we've still got that one copper. Let's uh, move that permanently, basically. How are we doing power? Power's okay. Uh, we can maybe get another couple of greenhouses once we've uh, checked our glass, which we should be making plenty of. Your 99 glass. Yeah, that's a good amount. So how fast do these work? So if we had four, we'll produce 1.5 a second. Hooey. That is, uh, that is moving nice and quickly. Okay, that's good. Uh, we've still got a few copper pipes lying around. I do want to kind of get rid of them. I don't really want copper pipes, but... Oh, got some damage, damn. Let's go and extend my hedgehog defences a little bit, I think. Go check on the walls, take some ammo down there. All of the stuff that I usually do to just, just keep an eye on it. 500 magazines. Ammo does look okay. Yeah, it's around here where we don't actually have the hedgehog defenses. Also, we are getting attacked up there, but no red warnings. If we get start to get red warnings, then we need to go and take a better look at it, but as long as it is only... yellow ones, that's actually fine. Oh, I missed that one spot. Oh yeah, got it. Uh, I need to... Did I even do gates? Also, that Bob's Fluids is new. I did not see that before, I don't think. Yes, we can do gates, but we need steel for that. Uh, what's cancel? Deconstruction planet. Control... Sh is it shift? Yeah, there we are. So we'll add another layer of wall here. Apparently just going off at random angles. Because that's how we're rolling out. Get rid of this wood in front of it too. And then continue with my hedgehog defenses. Which seem to be working really, really well. So that is a plus. The other thing we maybe want to do is increase the number of guns. But I'm not entirely sure on that one. Just 
just yet. Keep an eye on the map and make sure there's no uh, nasty surprises waiting around the corner for us. Be kind of awkward if we got killed while building walls. But the other ones all seem to be holding up really well, so that's that's kind of nice. Ammo looking good too. How much do we use? We brought... Actually, we used all of our wool. Holy crap. I was not even paying attention. <laughs> used it all up. So yeah, good job we did take three stacks. Wool good. I've got a random saw in my inventory that probably want to ditch into my greenhouses. Ah, uh, not my greenhouse, it's my lumber. Cutter. No, we aren't. Raph, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. Yeah, I mean, exactly. It It's pretty, pretty horrifically ugly, but it's super effective, so... I don't... I don't really care making... If it was in the middle of my base, then maybe I'd care more, but... Considering it's just on the outside, I can let a pretty terrible looking design slide. But... All it does is increase the route which they have to take. It's just about uh, making their path in the... In the guns as long as possible, so... Sort of does the job there. But yeah, welcome to the stream today. Hopefully you're, you are doing well, and thank you for the follow. Do appreciate it. Stack inserters we are doing at the moment. Stack inserter and upgrade there. We could do more capacity, but we'd have to actually build them first and that would require steel and bronze. So we'll have to get those two first. Silicon processing, iron processing, gas processing, wood processing three. We can make the wood bricks, which do have really good fuel value, but don't really see the point of other than that. I mean, we don't smelt them into anything, it's just the final final stage of it, I guess. Uh, what else? Lithium processing, vehicle equipment, advanced material processing. We could get steel furnaces. Sure. Uh, the circuit network. We 100% want that. Reinforced concrete walls, which are steel and stone. Yeah, you can suck any of those two. That is all good. So silicon processing done. And we need to do iron next. Or at least steel next, which I kinda wanted to do up here. Oh no, it was up it was there. This is where I wanted to do steel. I left myself space for it. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully there's something the space for it. Uh, we need some more furnaces before we start that. We also have stone mixing first and things like that. Oh, oh, yeah. You see, it's very, very hard to know when, when people are joking through Twitch chat. It's very, very hard to know. It's like the, the classic joke um, about uh, living in Switzerland. Well, the flag is a big plus. But yeah. Good for Sue and Twitch comedy. You know, don't don't give up on your dreams. Don't uh don't let other people dictate your Twitch comedy. I'm sure I'm sure you'll find your market. I'm sure you'll find your market. Eventually. You know. Hopefully. Possibly. Uh and that is actually just the perfect size, which makes me a very, very happy weasel. Very, very happy weasel. So, we only have one splitter there. Fantastic. Uh, and then... Underground will actually be that one. Which I'm just completely screwing up. Fantastic. 
and then we'll we'll just bag it for the moment, I think, because I don't really have any. Uh, you're gonna need to be the other way. And I missed an opportunity here because that's actually wrong. <clears throat> and this isn't going to work anyway. This is not going to work anyway. Fantastic. Because we cannot. No, we cannot. Uh, we need to cook the iron plates and then hammer the iron plates. So yeah, that's not going to work there. Balls. I was getting so excited that I've actually done something with enough space for a moment and then realized that no, no, I have uh, I have just not just not done it. Balls. Uh right. That kind of sucks. But alas. We'll, uh, we'll sort it out. We'll maybe move the research. I don't want to move the research though. I mean, I'm quite tempted to stay somewhere down like here, where it's just completely out of the way. But that's going to mean stringing a belt all the way around here. I mean, the sooner I rip the band-aid off and move it, the better, but at the same time, I don't want to rip it off. I'm quite comfortable with, with it on right now. Also, we've got corners. Nice. That is a huge, huge help. Not all of them, so we can't do all the weird angles that we actually need to do, but we've got a good chunk of them. And if we do that, uh, we don't need iron plates actually, or controlled iron plates, or hammered iron plates, or whatever they're called. Right, let's get rid of these. So belting, the great belting begins. So if we assume the hammered iron plates are going there, how is the best way to do this? Probably take it... Clearing out space there to do it. Come around here. Bring it along this. That needs to go underground there. down here in the most awkward belt possible but we'll bring the science maybe over here that could that could work that could uh, be the right place to do it just because then I've got loads of space to play with. So we'll do here. Which be one, two. And it also means we can kind of set it up a little bit more modularly than we had it. Sorted. Right, science, throw in there. We can remove these ones because this really isn't doing anything anymore.
mean, this is still sort of making his circuit boards. Not that we're really using them anymore down here, but it'll do for the moment. And that'll give us an additional four labs to play with. It's one random purple there we'll pick up. Yellows, those are fine. So I guess we add another line onto this. It'll take a while for that to actually kick on properly, but it's all good. Science going a little faster and using all of it, even if it is kind of taking the long way around our factory, but that'll be fine. And hammered iron plates. Which will come up, down, uh, up, down, yeah, up, up here, and split the coal off there. Which, again, I've screwed up. That should be good now. Should be making them automatically. And send it underneath, underground there. And then I don't know how quickly this is going to run. So if we just assume it will be pretty slow. And then have a steel box here until we know it's going to go okay. Are you in processing materials? Oh yeah. So what are you struggling with there? Oh, random piece of copper. Uh, sorry, random piece of coal. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Uh, so having a little bit of steel processing is going to be a huge help. We probably are going to need to boost that up because that's quite a slow process. Uh, how much will that run at? That needs one a second to produce 0.13. And yeah, so if we double it, then those will be running okay. Uh, which... Something like this. And have I screwed that up? Yes, yes I have. Because you actually want to come up there. you on that one perfect just what I meant to do copy that and those two are grabbing from there and just need some power poles and then we should be good. Nice. And then that should get the steel coming in at point... what was it? Point... Uh, point two five a second? So one every four seconds. It's not great but Considering how little steel we actually need at the moment, it's not going to be the end of the world. Get rid of that. And then the last thing we needed to do was to get <clears throat> solder up and running. 
but I wanted to do the improved solder recipe, which is why I set up the steel, uh, which we wanted the melter for, which would be here, so we can finally get the induction furnace. The induction furnace will then kick solder uh, into the middle of the spaghetti, I guess, which is down here. Uh, on that one we want. Which actually is kind of perfect because if we had the belt coming under there that's where it would need to go anyway. Good old spaghetti growing quickly. Three underground belts, we need more gears. I really want to make gears automatically. Uh, you're now too slow. If we upgraded you to the next tier up, which we can, because we just have enough for it. So what will you need? You need three a second now. And I believe that's what we're producing. Because we have eight. Not quite. We'd need another block for that. Did I not copy that? Okay, fine. Uh, belts we did have. And then finally, power. Excellent. They're going okay. Iron's looking good. What's frozen up here? Tin. Of course. And tin will be double frozen because the first set of tin is going to come from here. So... Stone? would be coming from down there. I don't know how we'd split that off. In fact, I do. I need to move all of this, basically. Uh, so you'll be six stacks we had going. We'll be picking up from down there. We need a power pole on that. It's a full box full of stone. And we'll basically need three of those, which I don't have. I can only build one because I need more wood. But I do have access to full automated wood now. Uh, I had access to wires, but in order to make those, I'd need insulated wires. Where are insulated wires from? Insulated wires need rubber. Rubber is... Resin. Resin will be a... Uh, Resin is wood in a bioprocessor, which I need steel for. Steel and circuits and yeah, of course. Ah, right. Fine. 
fact, we yeah we are making steel. So we're making all the raw components for it, we just need mass of them. Bioprocessor. Uh, This will probably be grabbing from there, and then putting onto a belt here. But you'll only operate when this is more than like 200 or something. And where's the bioprocessor? I also needed to move that stone chest first. Everything needs 7,000 steps. Uh, God damn it. Yeah, so you'll say onto the right side, extract the stone. Uh, sorry, left side, extract the stone. And then we want to split that in half, which I can't do because I. Did I just get rid of all my wood? Or did I never pick up any wood? Right. And then this little load out just goes straight around there. As if nothing has ever happened, but we have the stone coming up here. Does that even need to be there? No, but I will keep it just there. I have a stone chest, which doesn't actually need to be quite that big anymore because, yeah, reasons. And then we'll have stone coming around there. Uh, you need to be set to filter on the left hand side. And make sure we've got a stack of stone in our inventory. Okay, we've got stone extracted from that process. It would have been so much easier to have this all sorted out differently, but... Yeah, see how that what is our research waiting on? Our research is waiting on yellow. And yellow is not working because we don't have any copper. Copper's not working because this is jammed again. Because we're not using the tin anywhere near as much as we are using... ...that. Let's get rid of that for the moment. Uh, reinforced concrete is done. Uh, what do we reach three? Hundred seventy five. Chlorine processing, let's do that next. Steam gas cracking, we'll do that. Metal mixing, get that going. Pump jacks, that's a 50. Oil processing, yeah, why did, why did we not have oil processing yet? Paper making, hatchery. Uh, we can't do that because we don't have the greens yet. A nutrient paste processing and fermentation. Okay, so there. On the right hand side, you're going to split off the bobonium ore.
we even need to do that? Yeah, we... So for reasons I can't explain, um, I want to do something kind of kind of weird. I want to go under there. Basically, this is trying to put these onto the far side because these will draw the far side last. They'll pick up from the near side first because of the way these bolts work. And now blue should be going properly now, instead of waiting on green, but it, uh, sorry, on orange, but it will always try and do orange side first, which is what we want. I think. So that should be steel going, well, iron going again, steel going again. Got some nice steel there. And then we should have loads of steel down here as well as loads of belts. That doesn't actually need to be going anymore. We'll still take it making gears for us, but I think that's all we need. Iron plates. This is literally just going to make me ammo at the moment. Which makes me think that I want to convert Are you full? Why are you not running? Yeah, let's put... Get rid of this obsolete chest. I mean, the chest we're using at the moment is still obsolete, but... Even more obsolete chests. So have that put down to there, in which case it will split half into making gears and half into making steel. Then we'll have That'll be making me even more steel. Uh, I'll need to feed that with coal somehow. I'm trying to think of a way to feed it with coal. Yeah, that's probably the easiest way. Have a coal chest there. That'll be picked up there, and you'll be picked up there. That needs power. I'll throw charcoal in there for the moment, because oh sorry, carbon in there for the moment because it's closest. And then we've got hot iron plates there. Hot iron plates will be fed into Oh, we need more. We still haven't sorted those out. In fact, we could even make AP ammo here. This could be the AP ammo processing place. Uh, you'd be making me steel. Got 
because we have the copper down here that we could tap into. Make me a PMO there. And now we have the triangle ac uh, the triangle access, the corner access. So what do you need the most of? You probably need the most of copper, don't you? Yeah, five copper plates. And now you're just waiting on steel. Which is just a cooking issue. Beautiful. What are you waiting on? You're waiting on iron. Yeah, and now we've got our very own AP ammo maker. I mean, we've only got 10 AP ammo at the moment, but start. Uh, can we upgrade those furnaces too? Yes, we can make a single furnace there. Uh, which is steel furnace. should be faster and more efficient. Hopefully. Steel. Nice. Uh, I need more stone bricks. Five, and you're producing 2.9 a second. Are you going to exhaust that for these two? Probably. Oh well, we can always boost this with more steel, should we need to. And AP ammo. Nice. So what's that doing now? That's doing half of, well, a fifth of its damage in piercing damage instead of, oh, it, it's doubling the damage anyway, but it does a fifth of it as piercing. Not bad. Okay, so we've got a little bit of steel going. I mean, we could we probably should <clears throat> get rid of that for the moment I don't think we need copper pipes start cooking this iron into steel as well get us some more steel furnaces To put on copper, uh, sorry, copper, coal in there until we can get electronic smelters. There was a lovely little mod called um, 
furnace uh, coal coal shortcut or something like that, which completely removed the need to use coal, which was kind of nice, but yeah, I don't think it got updated, which is a big sad. Oh, you bastard. Need to be hot iron plates. Glowing iron plates, sorry, not hot iron plates. Do the same over here. In fact, is that even the right place? No. Let's do that. We don't even need to have them in the same chest, actually. Probably be better to have it the other way around, too, but. We will do it in the same chest just for saving the number of chests. And kind of ugly as sin here, but. At least it's getting more actual use out of this instead of the just sat around doing nothing. Uh, glowing iron plates. You're going too fast for the other one. <clears throat> Can I upgrade the inserters? No, because I still need the bronze. And bronze is metallurgy. Oh, uh, we need. We actually need bronze casting. Advanced bronze smelting too? Oh, we do have advanced bronze smelting. I thought I didn't. Is that. Oh, that is bronze plates. Copper ingots and tin ingots. Yeah, yeah, we need to make both of those. We do have tin ore, a little bit of tin ore, so... It is possible. That's going as fast as it can and it is currently overloaded. One ammo, nice. You'll run out. You've run out of. Uh... It's all good. How are we doing for power? Nearly up to our 14 megawatts. I'll leave it going like that. That's at least a temporary setup. Okay-ish. Yeah, this is completely backed up with the lack of uh, lack of uh, tin usage. But if we were turning, I mean, how much silicon are we even producing? What else could we do with the silicon? Silicon powder. We could start making silicon wafers, which we do need for the next tier up, but yeah, at the moment, kind of just need to stockpile the silicon. And if we had the tin ore, then we could be making bronze with the copper, but we're not making much copper. And if we were doing the copper, if we had the crontium, this would be so much easier. If we we're doing the citerite, that would give us iron as well. So maybe it would be worth doing the Citerite. Over here. And then we'd have iron and copper coming up here. And then tin and silicon. Which we could easily switch over. We could change this over to... From Bobonium processing to tin. Uh, 
Uh, it's looking all. Uh, where would be the easiest way to do tin? Probably have it come down here, actually. <laughs> and of course I managed to put that in the spot, there isn't any power. Genius. Genius, this guy sometimes. Okay, let's get rid of that. Also, we've finished the fermentation process. Uh, so let's... We wanted to cut this line here. Uh, we're under attack. So this will be switching the sides of the belt. And we can go underground on coal there. Start smelting tin. We'll also grab a little bit of tin off there. Uh, inserters, we can get an additional one. It's not much, but it's something. Oh, I copied the wrong settings. God damn it. There we are. Fermentation process is doing. Uh, lubricant. Yep. Nutrient paste, sure. Plant pressing, sure. Heat pipes. Sure. Grinding. Or refi advanced ore refining, which will give us the option to make... Ah, yeah, this is the one we wanted, because it can make iron directly. And Jockles, thank you so much for the raid, really do appreciate that. Welcome to the stream, hopefully you're doing well this evening. How was your stream? Welcome raiders. What, were you playing some Factorio as well? Take your sheeps. Okay? <laughs> Nice. Yeah, I'm doing well, thank you. Uh, Rando, Rog, welcome to the stream, and o Odaba, and Feister. How the devil are you? I have no idea what that, what that's, uh, what that's from, but yeah, thank you for the raid, really do appreciate it. Welcome to some uh, sadism, basically, is long and short of it. We are on uh, old Bob and his mod trying to do bob mod stuff basically and i'm in the process of converting all of these guys over to using tin ore directly so hopefully we can uh, make some bronze and get some upgraded inserters which means i can use stack inserters which are just so much better so much better so yeah that's what we're up to oh terry pratchett Gotcha. It's been a long time since I've read any, read any Terry Pratchett, so... Yeah, maybe maybe not the most familiar on it at the moment. You finished Angel Bob's. It was the worst. Really? So what what would you uh, describe as better? What, what have you been uh, playing in the meantime? You had a lot of help. Yeah, I mean, it, as with any... As with any of these... Uh, fiendishly difficult packs it always is nice to have a little bit of help and just get you through it just a little bit quicker save your sanity made your brain hurt yeah i like say uh, in the uh, is it still in the title i had 200 hours in it and my save broke so kind of uh, kind of on a fresh start from it which is not the most fun out there, I'm not gonna lie. Because I kind of would have liked to keep my, my save intact. Feels bad. Let's do 
that. Convert that over, get ourselves a little bit more blue stuff coming in. Which should mean we're producing more iron. You moved on to an even more complicated one. So what's this more complicated one that you've gone up to? What's your uh, what's your next level? What even? It, uh, yeah, I know. Tell me about it. Uh, but it wasn't. It's not a question of losing the save itself. It, it's the mods not working uh, for some reason. Uh, when I updated to 1.1, which happened automatically through Steam, um, I know I could go back, but I don't think the save will work anymore. Uh, especially with mods. Um, Bob's mining stopped working altogether, so I lost like half my, well I say half my factory, all my factory production because I don't have any mining drills anymore. And going back to it, I, I can still play, but I have vanilla miners. And when you're trying to use a lot of, lots of ore, it's not really going to work quite as well. So, yeah. <clears throat> SpaceX, oh, okay, I've heard Crastorio is, is pretty good, but I have not heard much about space ex exploration, so probably going to be uh, probably gonna be a fun one. After that, going to be 200 hours. <sighs> Fuck my life. That's, that's not, not something that I want to get involved with. I mean, 200 hours was basically all the way up to... Um, it was past nuclear. I was into plutonium reactors, so quite quite advanced, I like to think. Because I was doing green green research. So I'd done all of this. All of this. Rocket fuel. And thank you for the fight, I do appreciate that. Re uh, yeah. Yeah, I, it's, it's one of those where the one time you forget is the one time it's not going to work. And it's going to... And you're going to be very sad. Yeah, well, I was up to here. Advanced material processing. Yeah, so this was sort of the level I was up to. I was pre-rocket. Uh, I was like literally about here. So I could have done the rocket fairly fa in a fairly short amount of time, but yeah, not uh, not happening. So weasel big sad. Weasel big sad. Oh well. It's the expansion that they're thinking about doing. Yeah, I, I mean, I did see the plans for for adding uh, a big DLC. So for those that don't know, uh, now 1.0 is out. They've kind of said, what's the next step for Factorio? Because they want to keep doing it. Do they want to do Factorio 2? Do they want to do something else? And the decision that they think will be best for the game health in general is going to be the addition of uh, a big dlc so a huge expansion to it which is going to be uh, apparently space exploration which will be post rocket content which i think is the right call it does sound like a lot of fun and that is going to be a hell of a lot of new content like you say i mean is it going to be different planets is it why have I got a... Oh, yeah, rubber. No, I gotcha. So many of my plans have been put on hold by me thinking, oh, a piece of candy, I'll go and do this. Um, I But I wanted to get rubber processing up and running, which is why I did this. And the whole point of rubber processing is to get... Um, uh, sorry, resin. Get resin going. And once I've got resin going, I can make, I can do automation wires, which will then manage the resin by itself. Not sure if they confirmed about it being speculation. Oh, okay. I mean, that's still pretty exciting that they're using like someone from the community to to do it. Okay, resin it does require quite a lot of resources to make and loads of uh, recipes coming through so yeah we need three resin to make one of those and when once we've got the access to those wires then then I can autom do automation oh but you need to be cooked 
Right, gotcha. Uh, which is not going to work there. To be one, two, yeah. That one. Nice. So we're cooking resin, turning resin into rubber, and we'll keep two stacks of rubber. Hooey! Right. I see his different planets. Okay. <laughs> it's quite funny that that's the that's the like next step, and there's literally been a game released in the last month that is exactly that. Um, I don't know whether you've touched on Dyson Sphere program. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, but it's exactly that. You go to different planets where you you can get other ores. Um, so yeah, the expansion is basically basically making it into Dyson Sphere program. Love it. Uh, what did you think of it? Is it is it something that you can see yourself playing a lot of? Because personally, I I can see myself playing a lot of Dyson Sphere program. It's uh, like I've said, it's a lot of fun, and it's kind of the sort of things that I want to want to do. Explore the galaxy, make a big power station, basically. A glorified power station in space. And conquer the galaxy and the universe. Right, power... Fuel pollution is still 200%. We should probably get start processing our fuel into uh, better forms of fuel. Probably. Because we once we've got the petrochemical refining, we crush the coal. Because a single piece of coal, what's the fuel value on that? A single piece of coal has fuel value of 4. If we crush it, it goes up to, well, it goes down to two, and then crushed coal goes to coke, which increases the burnable value of it, and then carbon, three carbon, nine. So I believe a single piece of coal can make, go up to nine, so you basically more than double it, but you've got to put in a lot of work to get that. So do we want to make a coke-powered one and yeah Dustin Sphere wasn't so 3D like the curve is genuinely trippy yeah one coal equals two crushed coal two crushed coal equals two coke two coke equals three carbon which equals nine so yeah does increase the power but obviously you've got to input power to make it so is it worth it do you get a net output or are you losing it I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it, it's one of those where I suppose if you had solar, well, when I get solar, the benefit of using solar to refine your coal to get more output when you need it overnight does make it, but yeah. Yeah, once you get to the, uh, what's it, refined fuel blocks where you're using liquid fuel, those are super worth it. Can't concern, but I actually see. I struggle less with the with the changing of grids. Yeah, I need to remember to change manually change my grids occasionally. But I I think I I think I like it a lot. <laughs> I say I think I like it a lot. I know I like it a lot. Um, it's just a uh, just remembering to do that. There are mu much, 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 much more things they can they can do to optimize it because, like you say, sometimes the grid can be trippy. Uh, getting the ability to blueprint stuff gonna be nice. Uh, hatchery, no. Get those chlorine processing. They gifted it. They gave me a headache. Holy shit. I think going. Yeah, no, I hundred percent, I hundred percent see what you mean, Rafa. I mean that that's probably why I quite like it because it feels less less spreadsheety, and also having three dimensions to play with and stacking things up while still maintaining the like two D planning aspect. Because that, 
That's why I don't really get on with Satisfactory as much as I do with Factorio. Um, I, I get a kind of get a headache from having to run between the buildings, whilst it's really nice to have it and look at it. Yeah, I get a bit of a bit of a headache doing that, but not so much with Dyson Sphere Program because it does still feel retain like the 2D blueprinting phase. So, but yeah, I've got a hundred and. 120 hours, 130 ish hours in it now, and I could easily put the same again in. Uh, but I am waiting till there's more content so I don't burn out on it, because at the moment I have finished the game twice, so yeah. Definitely one of your favourite bits. Yeah, it, it's a weird one. I mean, uh, oh, we're out of cult, shit. Satisfactory is a really, really nice game, but. It, it just feels so odd sometimes with the running between the buildings and not been able to like almost zoom out and just take a, a different perspective on it. I don't know. Wish you just like to. Yeah, I mean that's one of the things that I find I get a lot more in this mod pack than I do in vanilla. I, I have to run around so much more. So I end up just building exoskeletons just to run round. But then again you do get the movement speed bonus bonus bonus, so you know. You uh You can get around a little bit faster. Not necessarily much faster, but you can get around a bit faster. Uh right, we've got tin converted. I still need more copper. I think copper is actually holding me up at the moment, so getting the Citerite processed is going to be my next goal after I do the f after I do the like seven other things that I wanted to do, but I got distracted from doing. Uh, let's get ourselves one red wire, and I need to do it up here. So. You only operate if uh, wood is greater or equal to 200. Wonderful. Not a problem. Not a problem. I'm I'm curious about uh, deep space exploration and cross Oreo, so because they are on my list. So no word. Jesus Christ, man. Yeah, go get some food. I need I need to stop very shortly myself to. To exactly do that, I need to grab some food, but yeah, thank you for the follow, and thank you for the raid. Have a good one, and hopefully I will see you time soon. Right, that's one loop closed. Let's go and do the solder, so I can close another loop, and for that, be around on Sunday. Yeah, I might give it a go. Might give it a go. Uh, I, Sundays is a bit of a weird one for me. Sometimes I stream, sometimes I don't because life, basically. Um, and we need a casting machine too. Probably going to need two casting machines actually. Induction furnace, casting machine. One casting machine there, and then induction furnace. On that. Solder. Make sure we put that onto both sides. I do a full David on Sundays. Commitment. And then there's uh, lightweight half ass jobs. Full commitment to the cause. Love it. Uh, lead we don't need for anything other than this at the moment, so lead can come up here. Uh, tin. Around there, and... There we are, and then we'll put those onto there. This will be making me molten solder. Oh, Sold a mixture. Shit. It's 
so close and yet so far. I'm not really sure how many I'm going to need, so we'll do two machines to make solder mixture, which is two second craft time, and your that should be okay now. Then. And powered. <clears throat> oh, you actually need to be told to cast solder as well. Okay, get casting. And then solder will come down here gets to there currently before it stops. I'm going to have to do lots of threading. Then I need to start making belts automatically because yeah that's going to drive me insane until I actually do them properly. There we are. Now we're making the circuity things automatically get those going so many steps just to just to get to those two. Oh my god right I haven't even checked on my to-do list um, I mean all of this was like stuff I did right at the start all of those are kind of done where are trains how far off I on on train? Automated train, I need engines for that. And then trains. And then automated train transport. And then we can come back and start doing things like resins, rubbers. Um, and all of the other good stuff. <sighs> so far away. Oh, we killed that. So that's not making me glass anymore. Shit. There we are. Glass will be made automatically because it was coming up there and we stopped that. Wonderful. And yeah, I need to boost the amount of copper I'm making. Uh, which is why we needed the Citerite. Need Mineral Catalyst for that. Where are we under attack? Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. 300 magazines of AP ammo. Oh, uh, you need more fuel. I mean, I could supply those automatically, which is probably the smarter plan, but I really just need to rip this whole thing out. And start doing it with something else. Or elsewhere. Sweet, lovely crash site. Looking good. AP ammo. We'll keep 50 AP ammo in my inventory and the rest will go and share between those ones. How are my other ones doing? You have not seen any action. Which is why you don't have... Uh, any bodies around you. That's fine at the moment. But they did attack one of my walls. Little shit. How dare they? 
How dare they the thing destroy the things so that they have to keep them out? Circuits are going well. Excellent, we're making these automatically now. Uh, we probably should put a restriction on that. We don't really need more than four stacks. And we actually keeping a box of normal ones. Does not look like it. And we'll keep a box of four normal ones. As well, you're not getting copper. We did say we needed more copper, which was the Citerite, which we needed to do next, but again, it got distracted by something. So we'll do sit right down here and we'll put it onto the same belt there. Uh, we'll need two of those and four of those for the moment. Uh, mining drills. Yeah, we'll get a couple more mining drills. We don't even need the gap between those ones, but we've got it down there, so. <laughs> I didn't tell how much DSP I've been playing because I tried to jump. I was like, yeah, I'll just jump right now. Yeah, that'll work. Brilliant. Good job. Good job, Weasel. And for the bronze, well, what I really should do is rip all of these out and start again with processing these, processing these properly, turning them into ingots because it does boost the yield, I believe. So the moment we are doing this one, which is four to three, and if we go up to iron. Uh, ingots, that's one to one, I believe. Twelve makes that. Yeah, I believe it's one to one. So it really should start doing that. I mean, we could, we could start doing it down here. We'd change this over. Instead of doing... Sitter right there. If we start doing. Oh, sorry, Sapphire and Sitter right. We'll start doing them down here. And then start shipping it properly. How are we doing on pollution? Those guys are getting kind of beefy. How are they doing on pollution factor? We are getting spitters now, but we're not getting not getting any uh, actual evolution yet, which is good. When we start getting evolution, oh my god! When we start getting evolution, we might be in trouble. You're fine on AP ammo. Okay, so. Let's start the rebuild. Which will do... Citerite, uh, Crusher... Here. Ah, of course. Of course I had to do it there. Literally picked the one space where 
the <laughs> the power line was. Couldn't couldn't have timed it any more perfectly to to be inconvenient for myself. And well, in fact, I don't even want that there. That's where the sapphire's going to come down, or crush sapphire, and then we'll do the the sitterite on the other side because they output the same resources at the moment. So that'll do. Uh, I might want to do an additional one. We'll have four in, four out. And then we'll need a sorter at the end. Which we'll do here. Oh, we're getting damaged. Seem to be okay for the moment. How are we doing? Oh, we've got trains now. Excellent. Ghosted entities on destruction. Yeah, we want that. Fluid handling. Definitely want that. Crawler robots. Not quite yet. Red algae, yep. Hatchery, oil steam cracking, resins, rubbers. We need to start making motors. Um, so yeah, I want this to come out this way because basically then I can just have this modular until it tops out a belt. Um, and I, I kind of want to move this back one actually. So we've got two, two lines coming through. Construction plan I want. I want the cut tool and to move that down one. the moment. You get there. And that'll be Sitterite coming in. If we have two bio uh, two bolts. Two belts going out, we'll want some filter inserters. On these instead. And we'll basically have like that and we'll say this this one is copper copper and slag and then we'll have iron and oh just iron sorry uh, so it'll be whitelist uh, iron And you'll be blacklist iron. Then you'll be blacklist and then you'll be whitelist. And you're that one and you're that one. And then we've got the iron and the copper coming through automatically. But we'll still have the excess Sitterite coming through. Although we'll, we'll bring it down from here. And then the copper and slag
say iron comes through here. That new belt thing is, is awesome, but really, really difficult to get used to. Definitely, definitely helps. And this will be the additional stone. Coming through there from the Citerite crushing up here. Which we'll need to get Crusher's down for. Citerite crushing. We also need more filter inserters, which means we need more special circuits. So we'll go grab those now. But they've been made automatically, so that's nice. We've only got 11 though, because we are struggling with normal circuits because we're struggling with copper. We might have loads of copper to play with though. I'd say we might, we do have loads of copper to play with. Also, we're under attack. Over here. Uh, it looks like we need to go and take some AP ammo up there. I don't know whether the bites actually have resist to it, but it's still more damage. Uh, copper. No, we don't actually have more copper to play with. We are also close to our cap. Day six there. Um, mining drills, we have 12. Nice. I don't know whether that's going to work. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. It'll mine one piece of Citerite and shit itself, basically. Fully, fully expected that to happen. Uh, that's the wrong way. Must be that way. How oh, we do not crush stone there? Five thousand crush stone. You also got one glowing piece of. We have plenty of glowing actually, which is kind of nice. So yeah, steel should be backing up in here. Ammo is limited by the copper production. But we should have boosted the copper production just a little bit there. Also, this can all go here. In theory, lots of uh, lots of in theories, lots of maybes. Forty-eight ammo. What do I got? I've got copper wire, which needs to go in here. I actually have copper stored up as well, I believe.
yeah, so we have loads of copper stored in there. Which will slowly get emptied and hopefully make everything work a little bit nicer. Uh, you're blue, yeah, you're good. <sighs> yeah, that's what we went for. We didn't have any. But we've just got enough to run it. So you want to be going across and you'll be stone, crushed stone. Copy that. And then you'll be citrite. One near. One far. One wherever you are. And then Citerite. The majority of the Citerite is on that line. There's a few that need to go on that line, but we'll do those manually instead of the majority, which we'll just do like this. Which will be one. Okay, how are we doing? We've gone on way longer than intended, as per usual, because I lose track of time when I get into this game and... Uh, have way too much fun, basically. Which is not necessarily a bad thing, except when you're... Remember that you're actually starving. Okay, that's going... Citerite is onto the new system. We'll just double check this is actually working. Yep, looks like it's working. So you need a little bit more copper coming through there. And then the next step is just to move those two down here. But that we'll have to wait for next time. For the moment we will save the game here. And uh, finish up the stream. Uh, I will be back later, possibly, uh, around 9pm GMT, 4pm Eastern. Uh, depending on... Uh, how long it takes to make dinner, having spent so long delaying it. Uh, right, where, who are we looking at? No one really seems to be playing anything remotely similar. So let's go and see who is playing Factorio. Go try and make a, make a friend, share the love. All of that good stuff. Uh, why is everyone playing German or... Why is everyone playing it German? Uh, let's go and see this guy. He's playing a multiplayer. I assume he's playing just vanilla, but... We will go and share the love. And we're under attack. Something's just been destroyed. Fantastic. So I will have to go and check that out in a second. But if you have watched so far, thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful evening, afternoon, and morning, night, etc. And hopefully I will see you again sometime soon.